today using our brand new subscription kit, which is box number 57. It's all about the pop-out vases. We're going to be making this beautiful pop-out vase. So it's very, very simple for you to make. So this is what you're going to do to get started. Now within box number 57, you are getting an instruction sheet, but it's very, very simple to put together. So let's move that out the way. And then what I've done is I've taken one of the eight by eight cardstocks that comes included within the box. And then I'm going to take the actual template. So this is the template for your pop-up vase. So I'm going to focus on this larger piece to start with and all that I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that onto my cardstock and using a pencil I'm going to go all the way around. So I'm going to draw all the way around within the aperture lines. We're going to follow and then we're even going to put some lines in where it says score lines. You're going to pop them ones in as well. These will be folded on the inside, so you're not going to see these, although you can just rub them out with an eraser. As we can see, we'll start to get the pencil lines that you've got in with your paper. So I'm going to move that to the side for now. And then what I'm going to do is either using your guillotine or using your scissors, you're just going to work all the way around and then you're going to trim. So where you've got your pencil line, you're going to trim just on the outside. You're not going to go on with those center lines because of course those are your scoring lines. So this is what it starts to look like. Then what you're going to do is you're going to bring in your scoring board and then you're going to score where you have got all those lines so you're going to put in four of your scoring marks and then all that you're going to do is you're just going to fold and burnish now as I say you can either rub these out with an eraser or fold them back so you're not going to see the pencil line so once we've folded them ones back what you're then going to do is you're going to do that twice so if I bring these two that have already been done you've got two of them to create your vase. Then what you're going to do is using the pattern paper that you've got included within your subscription box, I'm going to then, as you can see, add some eye panels. So then what I can do is I'm going to go in and where we've got our tab, I'm going to add my adhesive onto both of these tabs here. So very, very simply, I'm using my tape runner. You can, of course, use your tacky glue if you so wish. And then all that we're going to do is we're going to join them together. So where you've got that scoring line, you're going to press. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold that over, press that into place. Then you have got your little vase. So you're getting that square aspect when it comes to the vase. What we're then going to do is I'm then going to come in with another piece of that same colored cardstock that I've used for the vase. I'm going to come in with my template again and this time where you've got your little rectangle you're going to draw around and then you're also going to do the little score lines. That's going to give you that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to repeat that four times. You're doing that four times joining them side by side so you get this little cross here. It's got four little tabs on each of the edges. Then what you can do is come in with your tape runner once again. So on the back of each of those tabs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my adhesive. So I'm going to do them all at the same time. So you just need to make sure that you don't get any of your adhesive where you don't want it. It is only on these little tabs. So we can then work our way to the second one. So opening them out, add in our tape and then last but by no means least going in once again opening that one out adding our tape on so whether it is your tape runner might be your tacky glue it's entirely up to yourself whatever you feel easiest and comfortable using so once you've got your adhesive on all four tabs, what you're then going to do is you're going to bring in your pop-out vase and then you're just going to slot them in. Now because these fold back, what you can then be doing is doing them in 
corner to corner. So you can then go side to side if you want it to be more of a square. So when you've got the first one in, all that you're going to do is work your way around. So that's one in that we can see here. This one is then going to go into place here. You're going to work your next one in to here. And then you're going to work your final one into there, giving that a really, really good press. So you're making sure that all of that adhesive is all stuck. And then that's giving you your center aspect that you can see there for your pop-up vase. Then what you can do is come in with a piece of that cardstock that's included or your own, and you're going to stamp out some of these stamps. So I'm going to go in one of each, and you can see here, this is it stamped out with our alcohol proof Noir Black. I've taken the dies as well, so you've got your coordinated dies, you've got additional ones that you can see here, as well as the uh, stamens and the leaves. You can then come along and colour these in. Now, I have used gold yellow blend and also ice grey blend to colour these in. And this is where I've taken the actual die and I cut three of these and pop my flower heads over the top. What I've also done is using a few of these single dies, I have then die cut them out in white and that same yellow and layered them up with my tacky glue and I've put the little stamens in with the center. I've also gone down with the spine that you can see here and then I've die cut a few extra of the leaves. It's very, very simple for you to now start to pop them together. So if I come in once again with my tape runner, I'm going to go in with one of them to the back here. And then for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it right to the back. And then I'm going to come in with two of these. So I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive onto the back there and to the back and I'm only popping it on to the base. This is going to give it additional dimension and then we're going to start to pop them ones in that you can see there. And then we're going to start putting some of these within those center panels that we've just created. So we're going to go in, we're going to add one of them into place there. I'm going to take the other two floral stamps that I've colored and die cut these can go into one of those crossover panels that we have then created. So that one can go on into the side here. And you can go to town with the amount of them that you are using. If you want to do a few, you absolutely can do. But then if you want to go to town and do loads and loads and loads, you absolutely can do. So we're starting to build up that pop-up vase. And then the last three, I'm going to go in, I'm going to add in my tape runner to the base here. So adding that on to there. We're going to do the last two that we can see down into here. So once again, let's just get our tape runners going. Let our adhesive stick to that base. We're then going to come in. This one, we're going to pop to the front here. This one, we're going to come in. I'm going to add in an additional little bit of glue. So let's go in. I'm going to pop this one to the front. You can either use your tacky glue or to hand. I have a clear overlay, so I'm going to use that. Press that one in. Hold it for a second if you are using a wet glue. And then last but by no means least, when it comes to our florals, I'm going to add another bit there. And then all that's left to do is add our sentiment to the front. So I'm going to press that in. Let's add a little bit extra to secure our vine. That can go into there, holding for a few seconds for that to grab. We're just going to go in any little bits that's just dropped off. We can add that in. So let's press that in. And then what we can do is we can go in with a little sentiment that I've already stamped out. This is quick dry, 
green topaz. That one can go onto the front like so. And then there we go. It's a lovely little pop-up vase. It will fold flat to go into one of the gusset envelopes, but that is how you can use your subscription box, new subscription box, number 57, which is all about the pop-up vases. <laughs>